I want to teach you to drive like a man. What does that mean? Well, men, they're taught to drive with confidence, with aggression. The road belongs to them. They drive defensively, always looking out for the other guy. Now, women, mm -hmm. oh, they tend to be polite. They hesitate, and that can be fatal. But you're going to learn to think what the other guy's going to do before he does it. Now, welcome back to GMA3, everybody. That was a clip from the Pulitzer Prize-winning play, How I Learned to Drive, now on Broadway. It first debuted on stage back in 1997, and one of the stars of the show is in the building. Let's bring him out. You know him, you love him. There he is, David Morse. How are you? Absolute pleasure to have you in studio here with us, man. It's an absolute pleasure. Nice to too. I, I don't know I, how much you read reviews. Maybe there have been a bad one or two somewhere in your career. But this one, I don't know if you've read them, but overwhelmingly, this yeah. has been received so well, including your performance. So congratulations there. What do you think about that after all these years now? Yeah, pretty darn amazing. I can guarantee you there were a few bad reviews okay. in the past. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty, pretty special. You know, I, I, who knew it would take 25 years to do this? We thought we were going to do it, you know, yeah. maybe 10 years after. Yeah. Um, and here we are 25 years later. But how do you pick back up after all that time? Well, like I said, I mean, we tried to do this. They, um, uh, Mary Louise Parker, who's just yeah. maybe one of the most amazing people and actresses I have ever been with. Oh. She may be the one. Yeah. Um, oh. You know, I've been some pretty darn good people. But she and the director came to me 10 years after we did it on Broadway and uh, asked about doing a 10-year reunion. And I hadn't done a play in 10 years. This would, I would, you know, between doing that and this, we had little children and it was, you know, tough on our family. And we said, let, let me just do another play first and, and we'll do it after that. And well, after that turned out to be 15 years later. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. I, I want to dig into the, yeah. the plot and the story a yeah. little bit. Um, in the play, uh, the, the female lead woman decides to go back to her childhood to confront yeah. a major trauma. Your character, Uncle Jack, Uncle tell, uh, how, does, how does that um, tell us about that? Look, this is a very brave story um, telling about uh, a relationship with an uncle who was abusive. The thing that's so brilliant about this, and Paula Volga wrote this, she won the Pulitzer Prize for it, mm -hmm. and for a reason. You know, she, it's hard to say this, but it's a love story, really. The, the, these are two people who really loved each other. Um, and it, people are so surprised by their feelings when they come out of this. You, you expect there's gonna be a monster somewhere in this story. And they don't meet a monster. In the incredible story, you talk about the, the heavy themes about sexual abuse uh, that's yeah. being tackled. We've come a long way in this country in the way we address, the way we yeah. talk about sexual abuse. So th does the play and how you all performed it, any of it have to change? Or the audience actually has changed from 25 years ago? And it's Yeah, well, this is one of the things we were, we, were, we were nervous about. We didn't know the world has changed so much. 25 years ago, people are not having these conversations. You know, when we, when we come out after a performance, there are people on the street who just couldn't leave because of things they've been through in their oh, life. They just wow. had to be around people who understood what they've been through. And we'd, we'd be on the street having conversations with them. Now, thankfully, the world is changing. You know, terribly, the things are still going on. Yeah. Um, but at least we're talking about it. Things mm. are being addressed. Well, we, I, I absolutely, all I've read about and heard about and getting ready for this interview with you, uh, I want to get over there and see. It's not the first thing maybe that <laughs> you think about when you're a night yeah. out at Broadway, but oh, no. everything I've heard about and read about, congratulations, my man. It has been absolutely uh, applauded top to bottom. I, we don't want to talk about your other works. I'm sure there are <laughs> couple other of, bad There are a couple of good ones yeah. in Could have been a well, bad review. Yeah. All right. <laughs> really, it is so good to have you. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. I'm happy to be here. And folks, How I Learned to Drive, it is playing now on Broadway. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.